So I had someone ask me what this continuity does. Let me show you what it does. So here we're going to bring in a polygon. We'll give it a size, so we'll say 15. And now if I were to take this polygon and explode it, how many vertices would we have? Well, even though our polygon is a six sided polygon, you'll see that we actually have seven vertices. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first and the last one overlap. So what happens and what we, I like to use is discontinuity because now if I use that, I'll actually get six points. And the reason for that is because now every time it turns the corner, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be the last one. And with those, now if I bring in, let's say a circle component and I place that right at the points, well, I won't have any overlapping points. But what happens is if I use this one, the vertices from the exploded polyline will actually have seven. And if we bake this, you'll actually see that one of these is going to have two. So that's why I like to use discontinuity is because it gets rid of the redundant vertices from the exploded component. Now, obviously, if you want to explode it and use the segments and use the midpoint of those segments, then that's fine because there's only going to be six segments and you can pick the midpoints of those. But if you're going to extract the vertices, I would use discontinuity. So hopefully that answered your question. And if you have any other questions about components and things that maybe don't make sense or you have questions about, reach out. And I also have other resources on my website. So check the links below. So thank you very much for being here and I'll see you on the next one.